use a GE alias system, you can do more complex intervention because you have everything you need. Start from planning, fusion, imaging, so all in one place. I think the main impact on the hospital is going to be on reduced numbers of patients coming back for repeat procedures. So for example, today, this chap, if we didn't have the Alia system in place, I would have probably done one leg today with a C-arm and potentially brought him back next week to do the other leg for him with the same C-arm. So we would have stayed in hospital for that week. I think we'll see increased throughput. It's a completely different scenario altogether. It's not roof mounting, it's not floor mounting. It doesn't occupy any space at all. No collision between the kind of uh, different instrument in the theatre. The fusion that was used in today's case made a big difference to it from my point of view. Obviously when you're doing a subintermalangioplasty, one of the concerns is whether you're staying in the path of the artery or not, but with the fusion system it was actually very easy to see you were given targets to head for, so overall our impression is it's an excellent system we're very happy with it. While you uh, do surgery, you still have full control of the gantry, you still have full control of the table as well, adjust table position, so make the flow easier and better. We've got much better movement on this table compared to what we were previously used to. It flowed much more smoothly, so the positioning of the ergonomics were excellent. I think the big uh, features on this Alia system that will make a huge difference for every diagnostic radiographer will be that there is different profiles that can be set up either for the radiographer or for the consultant. I think that would save a lot of time and a lot of confusion in the long run. If you have everything set up from before, you have your profile for this case, everything is planned from before, you just one touch to the screen, everything is ready to go. As a radiographer, you're always looking out for the radiation dose and again trying to reduce it. Even with the lowest of low dose, the image quality seems to be phenomenal and it seems to be the optimum image for the patient. With the fusion technology, we're able to do things with far less runs than we have previously been used to. It's allowing more complex cases and it's reducing our contrast load for our patients. If you use the Alia system, you decrease actually the radiation because you have everything planned from before. By just single click, you just fuse the CT to the patient scan on table. I'm a consultant who started as a trainee where we only open procedures were performed. Then we move towards the angioplasty and the C-arm. For me, this is a kind of game changer.